SBA system. Yeah, that in without without quality doctors in every department, whatever what and, happened to you is going to ha- it's probably happening to everybody, and they probably don't get the records, and it's too late. But the the worst part of it is there's suffering involved from the exact surgery. And, and, and that's the main thing is you have suffering, of, uh, suffering involved. And, of course, the VA facilities come back and say, well, we can, you know, we can compensate you for the errors we made or we can give you, you know, fill out a claim paperwork and, and request compensation. But by that time, most of the times, you have destroyed a veteran's life for the rest of their life. And, and I, I believe that in order for them to repair that process and to stop destroying veterans' lives, Give veterans the you know the best care that they possibly can you know can get. I mean, would how would they feel if these veterans at the front end while they're in the military was to say, guess what? I'm going to give you mediocre, you know, service to this country. Why yeah. don't I just sit here? Why don't I just sit here until <laughs> I feel hole. like I decide I want to fire a gun or <laughs> protect my country? Yeah, really. So that's not, yeah, they're not going to let us do that as military personnel. So why should we as veterans allow Congress or the VA system to dictate what we're going to receive after our service to this country? We've given you 100%. Why can't you give us 100% on the end? If you could if you could name out of all the presidential candidates, if you could pick two, not so you don't have to just, you know, totally commit. <laughs> if you could commit <laughs> pick the two that you think would do the most to put pressure on Congress, and possibly do executive orders like Barack Hussein Obama has done to to, right. to help veterans instead of allow illegal aliens in, do an executive order to help yeah. veterans get health care. Which two do you think? I mean, uh, I, I I don't really see any two that can actually make a difference because. It's it's just a, a a hard thing to control when you don't have the people following your your lead, and I think that's the thing. But if you want to boil it down, and I even hate to mention this guy's name, but Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> well, believe you know, it or not, yeah. Believe it or not, he makes a difference. A lot of people don't like him because he he's he's not you know being politically correct all the time, but he does make things aware. He brings awareness to issues. Yeah, and, and I, I believe that's a good thing. And I think I don't believe he should be our president, but I also believe that politicians should follow his lead. He is bringing awareness to issues that you know that we've never brought up, that we've never discussed in public, and he and he did a great job at it. So that's what I'm. I feel like you know Hillary Clinton. I like her. I believe that she can bring a, awareness to you know on the Democrat side that she probably can bring awareness to what's taking place in the VA system, but. Once again, I said, I'm not too much into politicians. I don't follow politicians because they're only there to make sure that they stay in the news and follow what the public do, and they go after those, you know, the yeah. public for voting. And I money. don't believe in that. I follow what comes out of a person's heart. Right. So well, when I see that, that's who I follow. It's a tough that's call a, for me. I yeah. I know that Trump would do whatever he wants to do and try to of force course. it if he even became president. But one man, it's too big of a problem. But what we need is a leader to lead the charge and possibly do something, an executive order that is within the bounds of the Constitution that forces Congress to act, even if the executive order. um, We just need a leader. I don't think Congress alone is going to do it. And And it's terrible to say, but it's because of the money. It's because right. it, they don't get. This is really hard to say, but they don't profit vote wise enough from it. That's yeah, disgusting. And, and I, I see it. Yeah, I see it this way also. Is what can actually you know revise the system or help the system out is once these VA employees, top employees, or anyone fall into that that process, they should stop putting these these uh, employees on administrative paid leave that you're sit out there for almost a year or two years and you still get paid to sit at home and you're not even at work because you're going through an investigation. I believe once that those, those individuals are put up on the investigation, the investigation process should take immediately. And especially when you have concrete evidence, it should not take an act of Congress to fire 
those VA employees who are taking advantage of the system, who's stealing money, who is not providing the proper care to veterans, it should not take the act of Congress. It's just like me. I have concrete evidence, and we're talking about recordings. The doctors falsifying medical uh, falsifying information in my medical records. I provided those recordings to Washington. I provided those recordings to Senator McCain's office. Do you know those doctors are still operating over at the Phoenix VA facility right now, knowing that this is concrete evidence? This is not he said, she said, this is concrete. Right. The doctor stated he was going to assist me and help me in my medical records. He said, I refuse medical care. Why is that doctor not fired, removed, reprimand, or any action taken against him? I even provided that information, you know, the, the, uh, the verbal information to the, the head director's office. They have refused till this day, and I went up there today to question it. They still refuse to provide me information of why they have not taken action. It, so this is the problem that we have. And it appears that the falsification of medical records, they talk about it in a very nonchalant way in a lot of uh, articles. It's a right. incredibly oh, common I'll, I'll, thing. I'll tell you one right now. I have right now is, you know, um, one doctor wrote in my medical records, patients always run into patient advocacy office when he doesn't get what he wants in a timely manner. That is allowed to be put in, ejected into my medical records, and not only does it follow that one file, it follows every doctor's file that I go see. So what do you think going to happen the next doctor I see? You might get better treatment. Uh, yeah, oh, I'm not going to get the proper treatment. It's, yeah. it's obvious. I mean, am I scared to go see doctors at the Phoenix VA Medical Center right now? Yes, to the highest level. I'm scared to death, and especially because I'm... I'm uh, advocate speaking out for veterans' rights and my rights. I'm I'm very, you know, very scared at this point to even see a doctor at the Phoenix VA. But at this point, I have no choice because that's the only medical care that I have, unless I want to pay out of pocket, right? Because you know, ex- and, extremely amount of money. And I I read that all of the money that was allocated to the to allow veterans to go outside of the system in the, such as the Choice Card in Arizona, all of that Correct. money dried up pretty quick. And it, right. Is that part of the reason why you can't use the card? There's just no funding, or is it that the places won't accept it? Right. And Oh, yeah, you do have some, you know, like your high-level places who are privatized. They don't really, they don't get involved with the VA choice card. You have some companies here in Arizona that don't, don't get involved, involved with the choice card. You have the Mayo Clinic. They refuse to accept you know, the choice card, and I can't blame them. I mean, you know, why would I sit there, or why would that company sit there and have to deal with trying to get paid, trying to deal with, you know, cutting costs. If, you know, if procedures cost, let's say, 15000 of course, the VA said we're going to only pay you 5000 Yeah. So they don't get involved with that process because it, it'll hurt their business. It really will. So I can't blame those individuals for not wanting to be involved with VA choice card. And that's why I, when, when my idea was stolen, about the choice card and was called foolish and they implemented it, you know, 21 days later, I, I tried to explain to them it, shouldn't, it should be called the veteran option card. Allow the veteran the option to go to these clinics, get the care that they need without the pro- delayed of payment and without trying to negotiate with these individuals, just make the payments. And if they did that, all of these clinics would open up for the veterans and veterans would be able to go to anywhere that they wish to go and receive the proper care that they need. Right. And, believe it, and believe it or not, that process would open up for better doctors to come into the VA system because it would not be overloaded with so many veterans. Yeah. So now you, you would have these top quality doctors say, well, guess what? These patients would go inside or outside, so I can work at the VA because now they, have a, they really have a choice. Right. So then the, the VA can hire these top quality doctors now. Yeah, so... Yeah, so the... I was going to... The private sector, you know, there's competition. There's more competition, and you get the quality of care and brings, uh, you know, merit. You don't just go and show up and do a terrible job and then get paid and then get a bonus at the end of the year just for going through the motions and not doing a good job in the private sector, there's competition. It creates a quality um, care environment, you know? Of course. 
Uh, and and that and that's the thing. I mean, I was I was receiving you know dental care outside the VA for like five to seven years. I was receiving care, and all of a sudden, the VA f- uh, facility stopped me from receiving that care. Not only me, a lot of other veterans from receiving that care. So now they're forcing veterans to come back into the VA system. And now once they're doing that, they're overloading the system once again. So now you- we're back to square one with the, the dental you know process of when can you schedule me instead of you know. You know, when I can call my dental anytime I wanted to and get in and within a week, we're talking months down the road with the VA system. So, if you have a, a need a root canal, do, do you do you actually have to wait months to get that taken care of? It, it, it depends. If it's not an emergency, you probably would have to. I don't know for sure because I have not used the facility at the VA hospital as of yet. I used them many years ago, but as of now that I know of, I've talked to a lot of uh, VA veterans that, that has went over there, they, they wait time is starting to increase through the dental clinic because so many veterans are in the process of being pushed back into the VA system right. to get that dental care at the VA. So whether those wait times are long for that, I really don't have that information. We're, we're almost... But, I mean, I guess, I guess we can guess with pushing veterans back into the system, those, time are going, those times are going to increase. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We're, exactly. we're almost out of time. I want to ask you, uh, Concerned Veterans for America. Right. Do you, did, have you ever um, worked with them at all? No, I have not worked with those. I, I do know about the group, but I have not worked with them as of yet. I'm just asking because I've been reading a lot of information, trying to get more informed about all this since I last few weeks, and there's a there's a lot of groups and there's a lot of groups that want to fix this and I just think if if the states can put it a, put a team in place in each state of um, perhaps maybe a, a a couple of private citizens someone a couple from the military and then a a state representative on a team right and just dig into it Republican Democrat whatever just get together in each state and and just find solutions and dedicate that's their job you know what i mean i just think right and, and that's a great that's a great idea and you know that's one of the ideas i had you know uh conjured up a long time ago and i wanted to implement that and here's the problem like you have a lot of veterans run to all these you know senators office their state representatives they can even run to an care practice office the problem that they have is these people that work for those state representatives do not have the knowledge of what's going on inside the VA system. They just they just not there. I've, I, they've asked me all they ask me all the time. You know, uh, Ricky, can you provide us information of how this works? If there's a question that we we need answered, can we call you and get that information? And of course, I say yes. You can call me. It's just the fact that these individuals do not have the knowledge or the understanding of how deep the the problems run within the VA system. A right. veteran like me, I do. Yeah, so well, they need, I, yeah, they need yeah, to yeah, get yeah. educated, yeah. even the people that yeah. are, that are com- get coming on to fix it. We got about a minute, and this actually, this this um, this service is just going to turn off when it's time. Right. So I want to give you a chance to say if uh, where people can reach you and a little, if you want to reiterate about the protest or whatever else. You got about uh, a little under a minute. Okay, yeah, you can reach me at Invincible Vets on Facebook, and I'll spell that for you, E-V-I-N-C-I-B-L-E-V-E-T-S. You can reach me on Facebook. You can also reach me on Twitter. Please join my group so we can all work and, you know, work together to bring these issues to a closure. My protest of against the Phoenix VA Medical Center will be November 9th uh, uh, at the Phoenix VA Medical Center on 7th Street and Indian School Road time, 7 a.m., to 1 p.m. Please bring your, you know, your boards, your uh, poster boards and protest with me and help us make this quality. All right, Ricky. Thanks for coming back on. Keep up the good fight. Talk to you next week. Thank you very much, Dave. Very appreciate it.